This is Aaron Jenner, and this is Midday Trading. So we'll take a look here at crude oil, at natural gas, and then uh, today here we're going to take a look at one of my favorite trades, NVIDIA, NVDA. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy, sell, or stock for an ETF. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, here we have crude oil, your daily chart. Now, this is what we got going here. Now, this morning, uh, if you watch my video, you notice that we had a bottoming tail. But I said to you, just watch. Make sure that it can still hold, okay? The tail was something like on this situation right here, okay? But again, obviously, it cannot hold. So what we have here is a series of lower highs and lower lows. That is never good. Now your price is sitting at 78.12. I am short. Uh, with the SEO, I've had that holding here because since yesterday, and then I did is I also took a scalp on the UCO because you had a pretty good trade in the UCO. In the regular hours, it got down to 28, uh, 25, and then got as high as uh, 29, 14. Now, I didn't catch all of that there, but I got 75 cents so far out of the UCO, but I was still holding the short until we could get above some of these resistant levels. So let's take a look at some of the resistant levels. Okay, so right here, the high is we had a 74, uh, 38 level. Well, this is the level I've been pointing out here, this 74, 60. That is very, very key. Now, you notice that it just couldn't get up there. So if you take that 74.59, 74.60, 74.52 uh, right here, this was your good resistant level. Let's bring this price channel here right across. That was your resistant levels. And obviously, it couldn't make that. So then what you do is I just left the short on, took the long off, okay, because you could not get to this level. So when you talk about, say, I got to hold the trade, hold the trade, Always just look for the resistant levels or the support levels in this in this case here, okay? So now let's just look here at with the downside. So what we did is we put in a lower low. Yesterday we had that low at uh, uh, 73.45, and today we have a low all the way down here at 72.54. So you want to come off of the bottom of this candle here, which is 72.58. You're within four cents. Okay, now again, if that does not hold, then we're going to be looking right here at 72.20 and then 71.67. Now, again, if we lose that 71.67, uh, it's going to be man out the window time kind of a situation here. But, again, when I showed you here uh, when the pits closed, I'm going to put up a uh, daily and a weekly chart for you, and I'll show you where the possibilities of where it could possibly go, okay? But right now, what you want to do is watch the bottom of that candle, that 72.54 level, and then again, if that's lost, you're 74, uh, uh, 72, uh, 20 level, and then 71.67. On the upside here, we want to watch the bottom of yesterday's candle, that's at 73.45. Then we want to do is look at today's high. That's at uh, uh, 72.54. And right here, the bottom of this candle here, that's 74.50. That is going to be your very, very key level of resistance. That's what you need to go by, okay? But again, today, you only hit 74.38. That is, okay, is just a little bit shy, but that is the resistance levels that you trade against, okay? Now, if it would have been kept on going higher than that, then I just would have left the trade on until we get to yesterday's high, which would have been 75, 73. And then your big target up here, your 21 SMA here at 76, 30. And then maybe possibly even your eight day at 76, uh, 64. Now you can see where your eight days rolled over, your 21 days rolling over it. This is looking ugly times ugly. The key is going to be here. If this keeps selling, is it going to hold that 71, 67? Or is it going to blast right through that and go lower? Now, here, your RSI, you've got plenty of room to run on the downside. You've got a bearish cross here. See how that green went over that red? That is not good. That is a sell signal. So there is nothing, nothing bullish about this pattern right here. Absolute nothing. Unless we can make this 7167, make a higher low or a red dog or something, and hold this level. Okay? If you can't, we are going to go much lower. Okay, let's take a look here at natural gas. Okay, now natural gas was a really, really, has been a really good trader here. I mean, this is some really beautiful sideways action. Now, yesterday what I did is I held, I had 5,000 shares. But before 8 o'clock, I sold 2,000 of that share of my shares here because it went right into the, sim into the 100 simple uh, moving average. Now, I usually don't hold natural gas overnight. However, you were above this 8 SMA and we we're right up against that 100 day. It could have just as well popped up. Well, this morning it popped right on up here. And again, UNG got as high, uh, what does it got? It got as high as uh, 
uh, what they could do to get there, I forget. Um, it was uh, in pre-market, it got as high as uh, uh, 1522. Okay, so I dumped it out at 1550, uh, a flat level 1515. Okay, uh, and then I got right out of the uh, out of the old trade. So right now I am flat. I am not long. I am not short. I am out of that trade here. And look at here. You could not get through this 100 SMA here. So when you look at here and you look compare that to other charts, if you can't get through this 100 day, okay, and hold above that, then you got to sell your shares into it. Okay, that's the key. Now, if it could have been, uh, if you could have been holding that uh, 100 day, then I would have held my shares until longer, until we got over here and uh, to this 230 area and possibly even here to your 200 SMA here at 232 or even at 50 day at 236. Now again, if this would have reversed and closed above, say that price channel or the 200 day, then I would have added to those 3,000 shares and probably would have doubled the shares because then I know she's gonna go higher. But it went right in there. Now, I, again, this is just a daily chart. You have to compare that on all levels. I use a tick chart. A one, a five, a 15, a 30 minute chart, an hourly chart, a four hour chart, okay, and then a daily, weekly, and a monthly chart here for a longer term perspective, okay? So that's what you wanna do. You wanna compare all the charts. Now, what we're looking at here is we're looking at this key eight simple moving, moving average on the downside at 2.18. Real time natural gas rate now is 2.17. So if it can hold this, then that could be a might, might be a possible scalp here on a closing basis back up to that 100 day or maybe even higher. But if you can't hold it, then I'll be looking to maybe do a buying opportunity at that 21 simple moving average at 2.10, okay? So that's what we all have to do. That's what they, this is a trading commodity, okay? Right now, this is not buy and hold. But again, look at this nice trading box we have here, okay? Just take this and box this right out. Look how beautiful this box is here. For scalp trading, I mean, this is like a trader's dream here, but don't have no opinion, okay? Well, it's gonna go higher than that. Well, you don't know if it's gonna go higher than that. That's the key, just like this morning, you went into that 100 day, went a little bit above it, pulled right back down, and now look at this red ass candle here, okay? So always, always pay attention to the charts. Don't ever say, well, I left some on the table like this, who cares? Get that meat in the middle, take that money and put it in your pocket. You can live to trade another day. You can trade natural gas 25, 30 times a day if you want to, okay? Don't over trade, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, wait for the opportunity, let it come to you. So right now I'm waiting to see if this eight day is gonna be holding. If not, then I'm gonna be looking at that 21 day here to maybe take a nice possible scalp for the simple reason is, look at here. Okay, this candle came down, held it 21 day. Yesterday's came down, came down, held that 21 day, okay? So maybe possibility, you'll hold that 21 day again, and then the following day, we'll just reverse this right back up again. Now watch Thursday's EIA report. That's gonna be very, very key, okay? Because now we've been having some draws last week, it was the first time we had a draw in months, okay? So let's just see if that continues. Now, high heat going on in Texas, that's gonna be really good for a natural gas here on the upside. So don't have no opinion, but we got a nice, good trading range here, okay? Nice good trading range here. Your bottom is gonna be that 21 SMA here and your top is gonna to be right there at that 230 area, okay? So you got a, a 210 to 230, you got a 20 cent trading range right there. So if you trade those ETF, they move really, really good and you can make some good, good money. Now here, RSI here, while you're sitting here, about medium, this isn't really telling us nothing. This here, MACD is still good. You're green over your red. That's still very, very bullish, but just trade this range, okay? If you can see where it can't go through that 100 day, then take your trade off, put it in your pocket. If it happens to go above the 2100 day and it closes above, well then just rebuy it because now you can buy on strength because now you know your next level is gonna be the 200 day and the 50 day, okay? But don't have no opinion on that, okay? So when it comes on down, okay, now you wanna watch that 8 SMA, very, very key. And then we wanna watch that 21 day that's gonna be very, very key. But just trade this range until she breaks down. You lose that 21 day, we just follow the candles all the way down. Okay, you break the 100 day, well now we know where it's gonna go. Okay, let's take a look here at NVIDIA. Okay, here we have NVIDIA, my favorite trade here. Now this chart looks like, oh my God, it's selling off, all technology is selling off. Well, not really, okay? So you look at this chart, you big it up like this. Okay, yesterday we had a high. Okay, of 130, we had a low of 123.42. So far, we had a high 
of 129.88 and a low of 125.89. We have what they call an inside day. Okay, and all that means is the high and low is the inside of the previous days, high and low. Okay, so here's what you want to do is I'm I'm holding this long and I'm trading this. this is a great, great trading stock. Okay, so just remember now, I'll tell you now, NVIDIA had a really good swing today, 125.89 on the low, 129.88 on the, uh, 88 on, on the uh, upside there. So you had a four-point move. How much money could you make if you made four points? Okay, so that's what you want to take in consideration. Okay, always take that in consideration. Now, remember, the earnings are coming out on the 28th. That's going to be the key. So let's just look here at the upside. So what we're going to be trading against is the high at that 130. Now, if we can get above that high, then what we're going to do is we're going to bring the candles right across here. Okay, you got 131.92. That's your next target. Okay, and then we're going to come up here to the top of this candle. You got 133.82. And then what we're going to have right there is 135.10. And then this is what you're going to be looking for, 136.15, to bring that price channel right across. If you get above all that, then we're going to be looking for this 140.76 uh, level here, okay? You bust above that, you're going to be hitting 150 very, almost like instant, okay? So just remember that. That's your upside. Now, downside, what you want to watch is you want to watch the top of this candle right here, okay? This is 125 flat. That's going to be good, got a key support level. And then we're going to come to yesterday's low, okay, at uh, 123.42. And then this is what you're looking for is that 50-day at 120.63. Below that, you have your 8-day at 119.15. And then you can come all the way on down. However, look at this right here. 8-day is above the 100-day, the 21-day. And now you're headed for that 50-day. Look how nice it's curling up. As long as it holds that 8-day, this is going freaking higher, okay? That's just reality. See when the price gets below that eight day, where does the price go? Lower. Okay, so here's what you want to watch. Watch yesterday's high and low, 130 high, 123.42. Okay, that's what you're trading against today. All right, so we just have basically a, just an inside day candle, no big deal, okay? And if you say we break that 130, then we just come over here, follow the levels up all the way to get to 140.76, okay? Downside, right here is going to be very, very critical, 125 flat. That's what you want to hold. If that's lost, you're going to come right down to that 50-day at 120.64. Okay? Very, very nice. Now, here, RSI here, you're sitting at 60. you got plenty of room to run. This is, uh, the green is over red, just starting off, very, very bullish. Okay? So, you've got plenty, plenty of uh, upside potential going on here, especially when the earnings are coming out here. Now, when you look at a weekly chart, well, you can see here how nice it is. You're uh, eight days on the upside, 20, uh, eight days on the upside, your 21 day, your 50 day, your 100 day, your 200 day, everything is bottom left, upper right. That's exactly what we want to see. Okay. So again, if that 120 is lost, then what we'll do is we're going to come right over here to this eight day. Okay. Sitting at 118.82. That's what you're looking for. Okay. But again, as long as it holds this here, we have a lot of potential here to hit that 140.76 very, very easy. Okay, I'll be back here after the old uh, pit close, and we'll take a look here at the old crude ski and that yes. And remember, the uh, uh, API report for crude is at 4.30 today. It just might be a market mover. All right, remember, trade what's in front of you, not what you want.